The following video commentary is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions mentioned in the commentary are those of the individual participant and do not reflect those of Electronic Arts Incorporated or any of its employees, affiliates, or subsidiaries. The review video for commentary uses edited footage from Apex Legends, a game produced by Electronic Arts Incorporated and is not meant to be a substitute for the game in question. Gamer nerd. And today, boy, oh Robo boy, I did not expect that I would be commentating on my least favorite game company of all time. This game was made by EA. EA. As usual, you've got the annoying EA, EA, EA. No wonder everybody hates you nowadays. So we're going to have to accept that. Your big plan. Here we go. Your big plan is to treat every AAA title like it was a mobile game. Treat every title like it's a game that you can play right on your cell phone. Well, guess what? That's not going to work, people. Not for consoles, it's not. Now, if you were playing it on your phone, it might work, but since we're talking about consoles, that's not what people are expecting. No. Expectations in video games for consoles are greater than those of mobile phones. Now, for mobile phones, it's understandable to put like in-app purchases and in-game ads and whatnot. But on consoles? You seriously gotta be kidding me. And I don't care how cool that intro is for Apex Legends. I seriously don't. A good intro does not make a good game. Another problem? <sighs> this game is online only. Why? Oh, why? Did, it, did Apex Legends have to be online only? That's another. Okay, unfortunately, I don't know which one's which. Which option <sighs> is which. Seriously? They got a menu oh. that is so complicated. Oh. Let's add friends to the game. Oh, I see. And seriously, the menu system being complicated is not what bugs me. What bugs me All is right. the microtransactions. I think yes, I'm microtransactions. I know. It sounds like I said micro transactions in the review, but it's actually micro transactions. I know this. My microphone just messed up that one time. Anyhow, <coughs> here's the training. And for this first video, you, the viewer, have to sit through it. Yes, you folks have to sit through me fumbling around in training which is something neither of us want not me your creator nor you the viewer thankfully I thought of this and have fast forwarded the training part of the video for the review which really helps because oh, yeah. nobody wants to sit through a long training segment of a boring first-person shooter or boring battle royale and battle royale was done before by Valve Incorporated Valve Incorporated did battle royale before they did it in-app purchases before and they did it way better than EA and I mean this in a big way raise your hand if you think Valve is better than EA Okay, raise your hand if you think Sega is better than EA. 
Okay. Raise your hand if you think Nintendo is better than EA. Raise your hand if you think EA is better than Nintendo. No hands that time. Really? Wow. Never thought EA would sink to a new low. Treating all their AAA platforms like mobile games. No wonder they're declining in quality over the years. There's been, a, there's been controversy on Star Wars Battlefront 2, for Christ's sake. Seriously. EA used to be cool. EA used to be fun. Like, remember Need for Speed? The, the game that ran on the Windows 95 PCs? That was cool. Those were cool back then. But now, look at what EA's turned into. <sighs> A money-grubbing, glitchy mess. And you done screwed it up, EA. You done screwed it up. Now, I have n never not enjoyed an online video game before. I think this... I'm looking at you, EA Legends. Or rather, Apex Legends, I mean. You being created by EA was the biggest sin you could make. And Anthem was worse than Apex Legends. And that's saying something. And that's... And saying that is not saying a whole lot. It's like saying... Dried bugs taste better than urine from a dog. Seriously. Is that bad, people? In the training thing, oh, you get to go through a few weapons and such. But then you're brought up the hill to meet a stupid little robot named Robot Pathfinder. Seriously, people. Pathfinder? Are you kidding me? Are you people just... Seriously, that stupid, that ridiculously stupid, in order to put a long training session that you're forcing players to go through? Really? Really? You're forcing people loot boxes, loot crates, and other forms of gambling on them when they don't want it? Now I need to talk to Pathfinder. No. That in-app purchase may not be as innocent as you think it may be. You should know what kind of things to expect from a loot box. You should also know the rate you're going to expect such things from a loot box. New things from a loot box. If you're going to make loot boxes, at least make them with dignity. Tell people the things you're going to give them in a, the possibility of the things you're going to give them in the loot box. Tell people what they are purchasing before they purchase it. Not make it some random slot machine-y random gift sort of thing. Now, loot, loot boxes can be done well. Loot Crate does good loot boxes. I mean, you get a new surprise every month. I mean, that's something cool. You might get something cool. And if you don't like it, you can just skip a month. That's all. <laughs> Anyhow, you select, in, in the Loot Crate segment, you select the types of products you want. And I really mean that. You get to select which products you want. Isn't that much better than going through some random godforsaken Loot Crate? I would say... Absolutely. It is miles better than that. It is kilometers better than that. It is... It is worlds better than that. It's planets better than that. I mean, come on. Would you rather have a loot box that randomly drops a different item or 
in or some or in some instances the same item each time, or would you rather have loot crate? Really? I think we all know the answer to that. At Loot Crate, you get to choose which items you want to get. And I'm not sponsored by Loot Crate, I'm just giving them a good a good shout out there. And it is well worth it. Great to get Loot Crate. Oh, are Don't you kidding me? All right. All right. You can use that banner to bring back your friend through any Anyhow. Seriously, this game has a respawn beacon? <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I do apologize for my unprofessionalistic um, mannerisms and uh, commentary here. Anyhow, if you don't get the Apex Legends or Anthem, you're not missing out on much. Just some money grubbing, money hoarding scheme by EA. And you know what I say to EA schemes? Not only that, but. Screw you, EA. Screw you and your money grubbing tactics. That's all I have to say on the matter. There might be some more video ahead, but I'll be watching to make sure. It is well worth ripping EA apart for their money grubbing tactics and their money grubbing techniques. Anyhow, ah, I see. And this is the part where training starts to end. And you know how long it takes to end the training segment? About 15 seconds. And 15 seconds tends to drag on quite a bit. Alright, looks like training is almost over. Alright. And it's done. And guess where you're sent back? <sighs> to that stupid, right. stupid now menu. You know what I say to in our purchases, right? Oh, in our right purchases now. that cost $99.99 and give almost no benefit whatsoever other than a cosmetic makeup? Let me guess. Super Smash There's Brothers did, did in our purchases better. They, get, they gave it as a season pass, like the Fighters Pass, no. This? This? This is just wasting your time. This is what we become, people. This is what we become. But really, yeah, that's what I said. Really, was that even necessary? At least I get to m get match made into some place called King's Canyon, or some so of some sort. And take a look at what you're about to see on your screen. Oh yes, yes, you get you get to see and hear your party. All right. And it, it seems to be open mic. So I may be wrong on this right one, but. Uh, All right. Lock and load, rinse, repeat. It's that simple. Anyhow, here we get into the first and only 
match I participated in in this game. I will admit it certainly wasn't worth it. I can tell you that right now. Alright. Here you start off with your squad suggestion suggesting a drop off point and when the timer reaches zero you're sent to parachute mode or skydiving mode or some sort. Yeah. Not what I was expecting from a a triple A title. Triple A Apex Legends being a triple A title more like triple F that is two middle fingers for the price of one. Oh, and here's a third. Not only not only that, but the camera turns way too slowly. What what I would have what I would have liked to, to seen was uh oh crap. Now you have to wait for a recovery that never comes. Which is a huge problem for this game. So, what else are you forced to do? Why, spectate, of course. And you know how long that takes. Yes, you know how long that takes. Looks like our squad got eliminated, so... And I'll have to agree with myself on that one, because... This is just really taking... Wasting the time here. Oh, boy. And you get to watch as other squads play better than you. Heck, even Fortnite has this problem with Battle Royales. I don't have a problem with a Battle Royale when it's a puzzle game like Tetris, because at least you can try again and again as many times as you want. In first person cheers, you only get one shot. And after that, you die. Really? Really? They had to do that? Just... How? Was it really even worth it, E-Day? Was it really even worth all the cash you saved up for an emergency situation like this? How? How long are you going to continue to be surprised that your titles have failed? How long are you going to continue to set lofty goals for yourself and cancel titles we actually would like? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Chat, so. EA, have you gotten in the way of mobile phones, games like Adventure Capitalist, um, let's see, uh, what else? We Happy Restaurant, or... Or other games that require in-app purchases to play? Seriously. If, if you're going to do in-app purchases, do in-app purchases that are optional. It can somehow get you through the game. Not require the in-app purchases just to play the game. And on that note... I think we're coming close to the end of the first video. Because the second video is going to be a bit better. I can tell you that right now. Not only that, you get to see me fast forward wow. through stuff. And I mean it. And you know what I'm fast forwarding through, don't you? The training. The... And the spectation in the spectating portion of the match which of which there is a lot of and I really do mean that in a big way and I even give my final thoughts at the end of the video so 
be on the lookout for that when I start commentating on that, so. Boy, that was a strong kick. Anyhow. Round ending in five seconds. Okay, three, so three, two, two one. one, and time. Looks like this thing's gone into overtime, haven't hasn't it? Unless And yes, we're waiting on the closing of round one. So Yeah. Is that all? EA, is that so what you wanted us to play? This Was this your magnum opus of the day? Huh? Then again, it's probably all about all I can stand of this game. I agree with you there. This is the Gamer Nerd. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Gamer Nerd, and I am... Wow. And here's the second video. The review of the game. Trust me, you are going to love this part of the video better than you love the original. And I hope you like the VCR effect too because this is really good. Ah yes. Oh yeah. This is the Gamer Nerd. Today. I just, this is the first part of the... Apex Legends. The reason I say testing out instead of let's play is because fast forwarding in five, four, this game three, two, one. You think EA would have learned their lesson with Anthem? You I agree. Think. EA still but hasn't learned their lesson. EA is still surprised when their games bomb like hell. how awesome Apex would be. And EA still and sets awesome lofty sales goals like 5 million or 6 million units. This Not a reasonable mistake in my 1 opinion. million, 2 million, or 3 this million units. Or the game not even extremely reasonable, like 500,000 no units. Particular reason. No, they're going what for the big the numbers there. Like those 5 million, 6 million oh, units. Well, I'm glad you asked because... And don't we be surprised when that game right when now. that game bombs EA. Don't be surprised, because your games have been bombing so, terribly as of late. After going through this whole menu section and everything, and like all the little notifications mm -hmm. and stuff, like right. the patch and whatnot. Oh boy, you are brought to this pretty boring AI menu. For some reason. I agree with how boring that menu and is. Before we get to the Switzerland tournament, we gotta deal with training. Oh. Yes, folks, there's a training mode in this game. I even shortened some of the video for you guys so that well, you wouldn't have to bear fast forwarding through every single little whip stitch. It took me a little while to find out that, that, that this game has a friends list because. Far be it from EA to give us clear, concise instructions on what each button does. Ha! <laughs> anyway, so this is a training. That was a sarcastic jab at EA for so some reason. So the reason I'm fast-forwarding through this bit And I even explained the reason why I fast-forward through the training. The controls and all the various gameplay mechanics on... Though, for on some reason, I game. forgot to mute the audio. And depending on your console, the controls may be different. Uh, the actual I think clips that's why audio. The, um, voice actors <coughs> of the game Excuse me. Not the um, two <coughs> or three separate six lines. One using the um, not the uh, audio the I added uh, myself. The PlayStation 4's controls. One using the Xbox One controls, and one using the Nintendo Switch controls. Seriously. At least if there's a Nintendo Switch version that came out, I don't know anything about it. Any really. The training ends after you revive a comrade and send some sort of healing item to him. Kind of like another game I know of. Oh boy. Now, I know Valve did the Battle Royale thing before, and did it way better than this. Applause to Valve for making a good Battle Royale game like Team Fortress 2. Applause to Valve. 
And anyhow, we're all a round of applause to Nintendo and we're about to be for making a good battle so royale of a Tetris game. I'll see you in the next part of the review. So once you get past Though training, you're thrown back into the the slow menu. clap comes and from yet again is the, the fact that menu. No, there's no and tutorial for the game. Which character you want, Seriously. You know, guns you want. And this, this game this assumes that, that everyone has ears. played the game before. And is ready for online. Has but not everyone is ready for online play. So, so realizing this, Nintendo put in points? extra modes like Seriously, are you CPU, me? CPU battle and marathon many coins. in their big block DLC that's and coming up. You need and a that's lot pretty more cool. coins to justify the nine, $99.99 price tag. I agree. 11,500 coins is not that much. Especially and when you consider how expensive all the purchases much. are. And I do You'd have it. to spend one million dollars just the to get match, I think, is all the weapons and stuff wrong, from the store. But I, but I only did only one round for the sake of... One the, round. That was all that was necessary for me to say I hated this game. Then I one freaking round of play. To. Now I know some names this that like tap, was tap objectively Joe for me the but worst EA game speaking. I've ever played. I don't think those got recorded onto my capture and session. I, and, and not only that, it's, it's probably also the worst Battle Royale you game I've ever played. Hear my voice, though. And I played Tetris 99 uh, and Team Fortress 2. Really? And those You're are still good Battle Royale games. In, in my and well worth your time, too. On the ears. Anyway, let's... <laughs> and Look at the match, I take shall a, we? Take a jab at them. Um, so the match starts off with tippy tippy a Joe drop, here. A drop off um, location suggestion. And once the counter reaches zero, everyone is sent into parachute mode. I know, and that's great. Where we you're got free falling and we got skydiving going on here. Until you reach about I think it's a hundred meters. A hundred meters? I think translates to when you get to that point, the parachute 50 yards, open, I think. And Although my conversions could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. And you start the match. And this is the part where the match starts. With all that said, and you're for about me, to see some of my the match ended you're about to see some right of my as it began. It ended right from the word go for what me. What the heck is going on? And boy, almost Im immediately after I began the game, I was shot at. Almost immediately. And I started bleeding out, unfortunately. And I yeah. I had to wait for recovery, which never came. Which left me no choice but to spectate the match. I agree with you. And I'm going to skip to the whole spectating thing in just a bit. So the remaining three minutes of the match, mm -hmm. if you can you even can call, call it that, that, was me Oh yeah, the, the spectating part. Spectating in this game felt like a chore. Title, you can't switch between players, you're stuck with minutes. one player's I mean, camera view. Bad. I mean, awful. seriously? Anyways, this is just my final bad. The game. Stay tuned. Get ready. Does anything more need to be said about this game? Really? I the game is not bad on in the aspect of being a battle royale game because I, I gave the no I gave the Apex Legends a failing grade, that, but as and I really as meant EA, that. This game big time uses cash grabby tactics. I repeat. This game uses cash grabby tactics that will force you or your parents to spend your hard earned money on mm. items that don't even have any sort of effect outside of just being a cosmetic treatment. 
<sighs> Seriously, EA? That's it for my review. EA has that's been treating legends. their games like garbage, and that's why I threw up now, that subtitle that says, EA, I don't treat your games like garbage. Not. And by garbage, I mean like those mobile phone games Unlike that we all play. And I and there's some mobile phone games I actually right like that I don't even get any uh, purchases for. Ruined Fallout 76. It ruined Apex Legends because they were implemented. And it ruined Anthem. Don't forget that. Way too much. Who would want to pay for a game that has microtransactions that cost way too much? Answer, no one. Nobody. I agree with him. And I do mean nobody. But, or me. Not even me. Rather. I agree with past me for saying more. that. It is and just on that actually incredibly enhances your beyond game terrible but when you to see that $99 EA has gone this far. A paltry it is 11,000 coins worse than what I felt. You, you earned my vote of no confidence game. All right, that's, that's about it. the end of the video. Thank you for, Thank watching, you for watching. If you, if you like, like what you like saw, you like, comment, and subscribe. This like, is Gamer Nerd, and, subscribe and, more and I will like see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Next time. Peace out, everybody. This is where it ends. Peace out, everybody. By the way, I did a nice little stinger at the end as well as reference to the endings of videotapes. And I also did a Chuck Lore Productions reference, even though I don't like Big Bang Theory very much. But still, good thinking on my part. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. This is where it ends.